Hey, it's Lois Melconi with Houston's Morning News. When it rains, it pours, and apparently it is going to be raining a little later today. But what a morning for news if you've been following anything that's going on nationally and right here at home. Let's start on the national front because actually it had a twist that brought it right back here. And that is what's going on with Jerry Sandusky. He, of course, being the Penn State former defensive coordinator who was let go a number of years ago and now is being accused of sexual molestation. At least eight boys, possibly ten more as of today. Last night, he decides to go on television with Bob Costas, who is pretty good at getting something out of people, and it's as if Jerry Sandusky forgot that he was going on television and announcing to the world what he was announcing. But he basically said the only thing he really regrets is having showered with boys, young boys, after events. He doesn't indicate whether he was clothed or not, but you just got to wonder what his attorney is thinking at this point. And as he is speaking, 10 more people come out of the woodwork to say, you know what, he's responsible for molesting me as well. Now, all of these charges have to be vetted, of course, but the case seems to be getting worse. We were talking about that a great deal this morning. Also, here locally, uh, a club that caters to teens is offering a Playboy-style night for girls from 14 to 18, encouraging them to dress up in their favorite favorite bunny outfits. 2,000 girls have already said they want to come through Facebook. Those kinds of things really disturb a lot of folks, as you can probably imagine if you've got young kids. And then the big news, if you're a sports fan, Matt Schaub could be out for the season. I'm a big believer in momentum and the way the Texans have performed thus far, one of their best seasons on record, to know that they're going into the playoffs, uh, possibly to go deep and not have Matt Schaub. Not that Matt Leinart can't do it, but let's face it, when you have somebody that you're consistent with, it's got to be a really, really big blow. We're going to find out what happens when he checks in with a number of doctors, whether or not this foot injury is severe enough that he has to be out for the entire season. We do know that during this bye week, though, Matt Leinart's going to be working out with the team. Oh, let's keep our fingers crossed. We've got so much in store. Stay dry. We'll be talking about the weather tomorrow morning right here on Houston's Morning News.